All right, friends. Hi, good morning or good afternoon, I guess now. Um, let's do some number corner. Are you ready to sing with me? Domingo, lunes, martes, miércoles, jueves, viernes, sábado. Domingo, lunes, martes, miércoles, jueves, viernes, sábado. All right, my friends, so today we are going to do a really quick number corner. We need to look at today's calendar card, see if we're right about our predictions. Look at our toad, see if we were right about our prediction about that. And then we're going to talk about my special marker. Are you ready to go? So remember, our, pat or our pattern that we've been doing goes length, weight, capacity, temperature, length, weight, capacity, temperature. So this week we've already had a length and a weight. So today should measure what? Did you say capacity? Because if you did, you are absolutely correct. So let's look at the ones that we've already seen to measure capacity. So this is a measuring spoon. This is a measuring cup. And this is a different kind of measuring cup. All of these we use for cooking. I wonder if today's will be another cooking vessel. Are you ready to check it out with Miss Steiner? Let's see what we got for this Wednesday, April 15th. Oh, look at that. You guys, have you ever seen one of these before? I know I have. What is this called? It's a water bottle. Oh, wow, look, we could do a lot to measure the capacity of this water bottle. That's awesome, we were right. So let's go ahead and put that back up on my board over here with my little itty bitty one. Um, capacity, check. And then let's look at our toads. So with the toads um, and the frogs, remember yesterday we did toad, 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 frog toad 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 frog and then we have a toad so if we have toad 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 frog toad 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 frog then we have toad what do you think let's take a vote let's see if you think it's going to be another toad raise your hand if you think it's going to be a frog, raise your hand. Let's check it out. Ready? I gave you another toad. Were you right? Hmm. If you were right, please give yourself a pat on the back. And a pat on the head. And a pat on the belly. And a pat on the shoulder. Great, great work. So for the last thing we have to do, we're going so quick today. The last thing we have to do is talk about my special marker. Look at this marker. I want to know for today, what are some measurable attributes? Miss Steiner, you're talking like a crazy person, you might be thinking. What is a measurable attribute? Well, Bella, if you really must know what a measurable attribute is, a measurable, measurable attribute is something that we can measure about this object. For example, is it possible to measure the length of this object? It is. What will we use to measure the length of my marker? A scale? You would use a scale to measure the length of the marker. Now, what would you use? A ruler. Remember, we got a ruler over here, a ruler over here, a ruler over here, and a ruler, boop, right there. Perfect. If I wanted to measure the weight of my marker, um, what would I use for that? Scale, good job. If I wanted to measure the capacity of this marker, is that possible? 
believe it or not, you guys, it is possible to measure the capacity of my marker. I'm going to tell you why, okay? Remember what a cylinder is? A cylinder has two circles at the top and bottom, and then it's like a tube, kind of. Oh, you know what? I have a cylinder right here. Let me... Ugh. I went to Chick-fil-A this morning. Alrighty, so this straw that I have right here is a cylinder. Do you see how it has a circle at the top, a circle at the bottom, and a long tube in the middle? This marker is kind of like a cylinder, but it just is not open at this end or at this end, it's closed. But we could try to see how much we could fit in this middle part because right now what's in this middle part is the ink that comes out of here. So we could try to measure how the capacity of the marker by seeing how much fits in this little cylinder. And last but not least, are we going to measure the temperature of my marker? I mean, we could try. I'm sure if we use the thermometer to measure the temperature of this marker, it would probably be about the same temperature as this room, huh? Yeah. Awesome. Great work. Thanks for talking about me, talking about this with me. Um, that's all I have for you today, but tomorrow we're going to spend a little bit more time and we're going to practice counting by tens again but in Spanish. So I hope you're ready for it. I will see you guys later on.